Hey everyone, let me ask you this. What would you do if you had the power to bring something back to life? Imagine if death wasn't the end, but just the beginning. Today, we're diving into a story that shows us the power of Jesus, the power that goes beyond the grave. You don't want to miss this one. All right. Today, we're talking about something huge. We all face moments where life feels like it's falling apart, where we've lost something or someone, and hope seems gone. But what if I told you that with Jesus, there's a power that can break through even the darkest moments? It's called the resurrection power. And it's not just some abstract concept. It's real and it's life-changing. In John 11, we're going to see Jesus demonstrate this power firsthand. He's about to show us that death doesn't have the final word. He does. Stick around as we unpack this epic story of Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead. It's one of those stories that will totally shift your perspective on life, death, and what it means to have hope. We find the story in John 11, 1 through 44. I'm going to read just a few verses from this large story. Let's get into it. I'm reading from the NLT. Verse 1. A man named Lazarus was sick. He lived in Bethany with his sisters, Mary and Martha. Three. So the two sisters sent a message to Jesus, telling him, Lord, your dear friend is very sick. But when Jesus heard about it, he said, Lazarus's sickness will not end in death. No, it happened For the glory of God, so that the Son of God will receive glory from this. 17. When Jesus arrived at Bethany, he was told that Lazarus had already been in his grave for four days. 21. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if only you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus told her, your brother will rise again. Martha said, yes, he will rise when everyone else rises at the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live even after dying. Everyone who lives in me and believes in me will never, ever die. Do you believe this, Martha? And then finally in 38, Jesus was still angry as he arrived at the tomb. Roll the stone aside, Jesus told them. But Martha the dead man's sister protested, Lord, he has been dead for four days. The smell will be terrible. Jesus responded, Didn't I tell you that you would see God's glory if you believe? So they rolled the stone aside. 43. Then Jesus shouted, Lazarus, come out. And the dead man came out his hands and feet bound in grave clothes, his face wrapped in a head cloth. Jesus told them, unwrap him and let him go. Okay, so let's talk about this. Lazarus was dead for four days. It wasn't like he had just passed away or was in a coma. He was gone. His family and friends were heartbroken. They believed death was final. That once Lazarus was buried, there was no hope left. And honestly, 
Isn't that how we often feel? Whether it's a, a dream that's died, a relationship that's broken, or even a loved one who has passed. When something seems lost forever, it can feel like hope has run out. In those moments, we're faced with the same challenge as Mary and Martha. Can we still believe in God's power when all we see is death? Can we trust that Jesus can do the impossible when everything around us screams that it's over? Here's the thing. When Jesus shows up at Lazarus' tomb, he doesn't just perform a miracle. He reveals a much deeper truth. He says, I am the resurrection and the life. Notice that. Jesus isn't saying he'll do a resurrection. He's saying he is the resurrection. He's the source of life, the one who has power over death. In this story, the resurrection isn't just an event, it's a person. Jesus doesn't just bring Lazarus back to life physically. He's showing us that through him, there's a new kind of life that goes beyond death, eternal life. And this is the kind of life that's available to all of us right now. What does this mean for you? It means that no matter what's dead or broken in your life, there's hope because of Jesus. You might be looking at a situation and thinking, this is over. But Jesus steps in and says, it's not over until I say it's over. He can resurrect dreams restore relationships, and bring healing in ways we never thought possible. Let's get to the heart of this. Picture this. Lazarus has been dead in the grave for four days. Everyone's mourning. They've given up hope. And then Jesus says, roll the stone aside. Imagine how wild that must have sounded. But here's the key. Jesus wasn't intimidated by the situation. He knew who he was and what he came to do. And then, with just a few words, Lazarus, come out. Everything changed. Lazarus, still wrapped in his grave cloths, walks out of the tomb. Think about that for a second. A dead man walks out alive. That's the kind of resurrection power that Jesus has. And it's the same power he offers to us. A power that can bring life to whatever feels dead or hopeless in your world. So, what's the takeaway? It's simple, but powerful. With Jesus, nothing is ever truly lost. His resurrection power goes beyond the grave, beyond death, beyond anything that seems hopeless. He's not just the God of second chances. He's the God of new life. And that's the kind of love and power he wants to show us every day. Here's what I want you to do. Take a moment to reflect on the areas of your life where you need that resurrection power. Is there something you've given up on that Jesus wants to bring back to life? Drop a comment below and let's talk about it. And make sure to check out our next video in this series, where we dive even deeper into what it means to experience transformation through Jesus. As always, 
Thanks for watching, and God bless.